Listen to me, Apostle Suleiman. How do I hear God genuinely so I don't play games? Very easy. Very easy to hear God. I don't need to lay hands on you. I don't need to impart you. If you read God, 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 soon you will hear God, hear God, hear God, hear God, hear God. By the time you wake up at night, after praying from, from 11 till 1, you pray till 2, pray till 3, carry the Bible, study for 2 hours, you drop it, you go on your knees, you pray, carry the Bible again, study, the next day you study, today, that voice will come out. And you start growing it. It comes little by little. It can come as word of knowledge. As you focus and you are growing it, you are growing it, it becomes a voice you are used to. I remember then, when I'm going to programs, Reverend Kinsley is traveled now to help me do something. And Reverend John will go with me. Before I get them, I tell them the cases. I said, John, if we get there, somebody will be sitting at the extreme end by the right, putting on the red top and the black trousers. This is what brought him. Another person, I see them in the place of study. When we get there, I notice, I notice them because John, Reverend John is... He was the elder brother to Thomas. And by his training, he's a business administrator. He's somebody, if it, if it is, he has to be sure. I'm wondering today, he's manifesting the supernatural. I say, Father, you can use anybody. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. And then I notice once he comes and I tell him, say, okay, Reverend Kingsley, that one is an evangelist. Yes, 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 I believe, sir. I believe they'll be there. Reverend John will say, hmm, okay, sir. When we get there, I notice he's looking around. He looks to the left to confirm. He looks, looks, confirm. Sometimes the car, I said, somebody will come like this, like this. So when we get there, I call. I said, John, what did I tell you about this person? And he confirms everything. And I said, okay. I, I saw it in the place of study. You have prayed with me over 20 years. You have prayed with me, Reverend Fidel. Have you ever had me pray for anointing? Lord, as we go to this program, Lord, move. Lord, as we go to the program, move. Lord, as we get there, let the sick be healed. You are a talkative by nature. But because you have a crusade, for three days, you become mute. Because you believe you have to gather anointing. Gather anointing. You have to gather anointing. After the program, you go back to your normal lifestyle. God is looking for people to use, not people that will use him become your natural way of living and see the power of God I never knew anything about the prophetic I didn't pray for it I didn't fast for it I was invited to preach in a village a man of God was also invited he didn't come when I came out to preach people were disappointed because they were expecting to see the other big name and I heard who is so so person? The person ran out. I didn't know the next thing to say. And I said, You are blessed. You are blessed. I had the second one. You are blessed. You are blessed. When I was done that night, I went back. I said, Lord, what kind of embarrassment was that? And the Lord said, Because you were too overwhelmed with the fact that you mentioned that's one thing about the prophetic. If you are not careful, the excitement of the people can make you miss signals from God. I mean genuine prophetic. Prophecy is real. God speaks to people. God speaks to people. Jesus speaks to people. In the beginning, God said, God said, God said. In Ezekiel 12, the Lord said, I am the Lord. I speak and the things I say come to pass. So God speaks. Jesus himself spoke. The Bible says, he said to them in John 6, 63, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Luke 24, 19, the Bible described him as a man mighty in the word and indeed the Holy Ghost speaks. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7, he said, now this, he that has ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 12, thou shalt hear a voice behind thee saying, this is the way God speaks. But today, 
the prophetic has been abused. Many things have been happening to the prophetic. Genesis chapter 20, I think verse 7. When Abraham lied to a king, the Bible says God said to, a, to the king, meet him. He's a prophet. He will pray for you. Prophets are men of prayer. Today we see people who don't pray and they prophesy. We are confused. You see people who are not praying. That's somebody came here. So, Apostle, please, I need impartation. Impart me. I was preaching somewhere. Somebody came and held my shoe. He said, I tap. I tap. I said, Get out of here. Anointing is not palm wine. What are you tapping? He said, Go to your village and go and tap palm wine there. I tap, I tap, I tap, I tap. There is a price to pay. A young lady walked into my office and gave me a list. I said, what? Say, Papa, read it and pray for me. I said, I can't read. I'm busy. He said, read it. I opened it. <laughs> he said, anointing of Paul. Wait, you have not heard anything. Anointing of, wait, wait. Anointing of Peter. Anointing of Andrew and James. Father, double it. Anointing of Papa Ia Deboye. Anointing of Pastor Benny Hinn. Anointing of Maurice Cerullo. Anointing of Bishop David Oyedeko. Anointing of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Father, double it. And then after I say, Lord, put everything on me. And I say, no problem. I look at her, I say, do you have money? She says, I don't understand. I say, money for a coffin, a casket. Do you have money for a casket? He said, I don't understand. I say, you are just written your debt now. You know what Jesus said to them? When they said, hey, let one of your ch child be on the left and another be on the right. Jesus said, it's possible. But two things. Can they drink of the cup? I will drink one. And the baptism, I'll be baptized. What does it mean to drink? It's to take something from the external and put into the internal. Taking something from the internal, put it external, put into the internal. Taking something and putting in and it has become a part of you. What is baptism? You are immersed. You lose your identity. What has entered you that has become a part of you? Number one, have you lost your identity that when you stand to minister, people don't see you, they see Jesus? Jesus said, if you can do those two things, then come. One time I was ministering and somebody carried a placard. Profe Apostolic professor of prophecy. So it caught my attention. It sounded nice. So I prophesied on two persons. I now tap my feet on the ground. Apostolic professor of prophecy. The anointing lifted. And you know some of us have been preachers for a while. Whether you like it or not, we know how to make up. When you know that something has lifted. You don't like the truth, right? This is me, I will tell you. We know how to make up. When the thing has lifted, I say, Amen. We're going to take a prayer point. When you say, Pastor, do that in the midst of prophetic, something has lifted. He's trying to balance up. We're going to take a prayer point. Prayer point. Prayer point. He's, he's, he's asking for mercy. But the one whose heart is hardened, even when be rebuked, is still going it. And that's what I'm, I'm talking now to genuine prophets. On the mistake not to make, I will soon enter the first prophet and the sorcerers. So now I'm talking to the genuine ones. Most, all the prophecies you give, most people sow to it. So you have to give money that looks like your age. No, despite all you have collected from people, you are still broke. Because when you devise strategy to take care of yourself, God leaves you alone. It's not what you want to hear. This is not the kind of message we want to hear. But I'm telling you at the end of the day, so many games. One of the reasons prophetic anointing cannot be impacted is because of the insincerity of the receivers. Have you studied your Bible? The Bible called Elisha one that poured water on the one hand of Elijah. But hear this. In 1 Kings chapter 2 verse 7, 
the bible said the sons of the prophets sons of the prophets elijah was a son of the prophet one but these sons had many fathers any man they see manifesting i think i should submit to this one your ministry is of no value to you so you feel you can submit it to anybody you go to south africa namibia lesotho malawi swaziland zambia zimbabwe this one is their father that one is their father You're, you have so many fathers as far as you are concerned relationship is not about the future you don't believe in the structure of relationship you believe in the father and the lord that you can pick up your phone and just call and say how are you i am loved by my spiritual father but i can tell you i don't abuse it because if my father in the lord becomes one i can see and talk to anyhow he has become my colleague I see my sons. Oh. I see my sons. Oh, Apostle, it's difficult to see. It's a lie. I'm too easy to see. But I need to be sure you are a son. You can't just submit to me today. The next day, say, I'm coming tomorrow to see you now, Uchi. For what? Have I tested your relationship? Have I proven it? Have I known how sincere you are? What do I know about you? Some come to your office. The next thing they want to do is to take a photograph that they can put on Facebook and to endorse their illegality. I see all those games. Very, very. There are people who tell me, even in this Ghana, Papa, look, look, I said, be on your way, come to Nigeria, let's talk about it. Because this is a son over time. Genuine prophet. Prophets are men of prayer. Number two, prophets are men of the word. Luke chapter 24, verse 19. Jesus was a prophet, mighty in the word and deed. If you are not ready to be a man of the word, quit ministry run for a political position we will vote for you we assure you that because you are, you can you are not needed here can i surprise you there are people who do not need prophecy they don't need miracles they don't need healing they just need information from god's word on how to grow so if you don't know the word of god you have nothing to offer them i was in a meeting a prophet came some american guy was in the crowd he crossed his leg was just looking the guy prophesied 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 some great man of god popular man of god a white man came did healing i saw this guy he wouldn't stand up people are worshiping he wouldn't stand up i was on the altar so i was called to share the word of god and i went to the bible as i was ministering i didn't prophesy i thank god that a few of us who stand on the efficacy of god's word i thank god that we are gifted if not people will say we are critical because we are not gifted i can prophesy you back and forth but i have god say i've exalted my word above my name what his name can do miracles signs wonders god say i've exalted what my word can do psalm 138 and verse 2. i discovered everybody had done things. this guy crossed his leg he wouldn't move when i began to preach i noticed he just stopped at a, after like five minutes into my message, he did like this. Mm. He said, get me a pen, get me a pen, get me a pen. He was looking for a pen. He was writing. All of a sudden, he stood. He was tapping his leg. He was tapping his leg. I was almost worried. I was worried. I was worried. Because I was, at the end of the service, he met me and gave me a card. I took the card and I gave him my number. He called me. He said, Apostle, we are tired. It's of these so-called gifted people that make us live meetings of two hours without anything to write down. He said to me, say he has been to 72 countries. That he's a deep man. That for you to move him, you must tell him what he doesn't know. I said to him, so why did you jump like that? He said, you were talking of scripture. You had quoted 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I saw the way you were giving out scripture. So I knew this was not a man who memorized scripture. This is a man who eats scriptures. He says, so I took a pen. 
There's a difference between coming out to cram scriptures. Uh, Matthew 15, 12, no, no, sorry, Matthew 12, 13, no, 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 sorry, Matthew 11. Studying the word of God is not memory verse. Am I coming to talk to somebody here? Jeremiah 15, 16, thy words were found and I did eat them. Be a man of the world. Every day, pastor, do not see people until you have seen revelations. From the word of God. When my children called me, my biological children, they did that yesterday. Daddy, how are you? I said, fine. Are you studying? That's the next question. Because that's all they know. That's all they see. Are you studying? I said, no, I'm resting. I just finished preaching. They said, we watched the Ghana crusade. Daddy, we wrote some scripture. Can I shock you? My, one of my children told me yesterday, I said, my biological child, he said, daddy, yesterday what happened? I said, I don't know. He said, we only wrote down 25 scriptures. Were you not prepared? 25 in the session and they are saying that were you not prepared and you you quoted four in the whole sunday service four full sunday service and it was not even correct for god so loved the world is more blessed to give and to receive your wife say ah, 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 ah what are you quoting I, empty service I was watching some pastor preaching. He said, they tell your neighbor, Bahu, you must Bahu for Jesus, Bahu for Jesus, Bahu. I said, I say, what is this? What is this? Bahu for the Lord. Bahu on Monday. Bahu on Tuesday. Bahu for the Lord. I said, what is this now? Empty, em and people, as you see, innocent souls redeemed by the blood of Jesus. All of them. Bahu, bahu. Innocent souls. Because people go to the altar empty hearted. You get there, you give one point, give two points, and give one long story. You can't even give the long stories because one hour is too small for you to put in all the messages your spirit is prepared for. Every sound message that we cross culture, cross nations, must have at least 50 scriptural backings. 50. 50. 50. Backings. Psalm 1 9, verse 1 6 7. I rejoice at thy word as one that has found grace for him. The era of these gimmicks and games are over. Can I browse? Can I, you know why? Because very soon all the sons of God are prophets. So where do you stand out? What distinguishes you when everybody prophesies? You'll be surprised. You prophesy to a man. You tell him what he's going through. When you are done, say, excuse me, sir. Can I get the mic? He takes the mic and starts prophesying on you. No, that's the era we are entering. He said, can I get the mic? So if all you are doing is to pursue prophetic anointing, thinking you will gather crowd, you will lose value. Become a student of the world. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? So we have to analyze. We have the true prophets. Then we have the false Acts chapter 13, if you get back, you read verse 6. The Bible talks about one sorcerer. False prophets are prophets who are after their stomach. Three years in ministry, you want to ride a Range Rover sport. Did your father that gave birth to you have a car so early? Your grandfather. The honor of ministry is enough. Why, why being greedy? Look at this only greed Gehazi became leprous only lie Ananias and Sapphira were killed only pride pride Nebuchadnezzar was turned to an animal God turned into the minister of agriculture went into the bush and was studying a course on animal husbandry and his, his special emphasis was on man as a cause pride only only disobedience Adam lost it you, you are proud you are arrogant, you are greedy 
you are, just one of such characters God took out people you you have five so the hellfire you are going we don't know if it has been created until you make up your mind deliberately sorcerers there are people that go to witch doctors to do ministry wanting to use the devil to work for God in other words you are saying God I know you can't help me so I went to the devil to help me you may not like what I'm saying but it will help you many pastors God told me he said anyone that goes to the devil for power may get money may get fame may get popularity but it will lose security he can die like a chicken the prophetic diabolic prophets diabolic sorcerers magician first king chapter 18 first kings 18 19 you hear what the bible talks about there were 400 prophets of Baal that sat at jezebel's table and 450 prophets of the groove they were there diabolic prophets